Hello and welcome along to the next episode of my Camper Conversion YouTube channel. So this video is part of a series converting the BW T5 high top. Getting towards the end of the conversion now, so now I'm about to fit a TV into the uh, living compartment inside. Now I'm going to be fitting the TV up onto the flap for the overhead locker. It's just going to be sitting towards the bottom, so when it flips up it'll still be able to lift up pretty much almost flush with the actual uh, headline in itself. Now the TV I've got, it's a cello one, it's 12 volt, so it's going to be ideal for this type of use. It's got one of the standard power packs, so I'm just going to be able to snip the cable off, get rid of the actual plug itself, just use the cable and wire that directly into a 12 volt feed. Now I've already got a 12 volt feed cable, already sat there waiting. That's been fed all the way down the uh, seat belt trim all the way down and back up into a fused fuse box down there now the tv itself it's only a three amp draw maximum tv so that's not bad at all it's also got a, a dvd player built in 24 inch so it's a good size as well so once it's by the time it's uh, mounted up on the overhead locker and you sat down in the seating area it should give a nice size tv just to be able to sit back and watch on the evenings things like that so I've just got a bog standard basic wall mount for it. It's not a swing arm or tilt or anything like that. I don't need that. I just need pretty much a solid uh, static type of bracket. This is just going to be screwed on on the back plate. Four mounts on the back of the TV itself. And then it's just going to get mounted straight up with the wires chocked straight in. Should be relatively uh, straightforward, quick and easy install. I'm talking probably, I would have thought less than an hour to get it all completed wired in and tested. So as I say I've got my tools out, this that the other, so I'm just first things first, I'm going to be mounting the back plate, securing the other plate to the back of the TV, we'll get it on, we'll get it wired in, and we'll have a look and see what it looks like when it's all in and working. So there's the back mount on, there's the mount on the actual uh, overhead locker as well. So let's get it mounted on, see what it looks like, see if it's in line, see if it needs moving or not. If it's in line then it's just a case of getting the wiring in, so let's have a look. Alright so there's it up, and as you can see it runs pretty much in line with the bottom of the overhead locker and the cab area. So I'm quite happy with that, quite pleased with how that looks. And it also means that with it in place I can still fold up the overhead locker. I'll do it quite easily because it's not secured. But you can see it's still going to get pretty much full access inside the overhead locker as well. So that's not too bad. I'm going to secure that in place. Then I'm going to drill a hole through the overhead locker door. And that's where the cabling is going to come through. And then I'll tack that all the way up the door and round the side. So that's not too bad, I'm going to get that secured in place now, get the cabling in place. Right, so that's the wiring for the TV all in place. On the cable coming from the TV itself, the positive is the cable with the dashed lines on it, and the one with the writing on is for the negative. Now I've got the cabling coming through a little hole just on the back of the unit. I'm going to grind those uh, little screws back off, just to make sure they're not going to be stabbing any heads as well. Then it's just going to be plugging straight into the back of the TV so there won't be any cables trailing or on shore. This cable is then going to get tacked up along the uh, actual lid itself and all the way along there, along the top and back down where it's fed in inside. So by the time all the cabling is actually tucked away inside, you shouldn't be able to actually see anything. 
So now it's all in place, it's just a case of giving the TV a test fire. Now I've put a 3 amp fuse just in the actual fuse box in there because it's a 3 amp TV so a 3 amp fuse should be fine for it as well. It should protect it in case there's any power spikes or anything that goes through it. But as soon as I put the fuse in the standby light has came on for the TV. So we'll just sit back and we'll give it a fire up. Light's gone green, that's a good sign. Yeah, there we go. Now I do have a USB stick plugged in because I don't have a TV aerial plugged into it at the moment. So just as a test fire, I've got a couple of TV shows on the USB stick just to see if it's actually going to play them as well. So let's have a look at that. Now yeah, they're showing up. Just a quick test. And there we go. Turn the volume up. back down so now you can just sit back on the sofa bed put your feet up and enjoy some TV on a nice 24 inch LED 12 volt TV now as I say with it being a proper 12 volt TV it's not running through an inverter so you're not having to change from 12 volt up to 240 then back down again anything like that so it's just a case of direct wiring straight into the leisure battery just via a fuse via in the fuse box as well just for safety precautions more than anything else and there we go, that's how I fitted my 24 inch cello 12 volt TV. I hope you found this video useful, if you did, do give it a good old thumbs up. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button below as well. There's loads of content on there, as I say I've documented everything on this van, job by job, and there's going to be plenty more to come, as well as previous vans I've done as well. I say this itself, it's taken probably not even half an hour, if I was having to run the cabling at this time as well, it would have taken a little bit longer. But I'd already thought ahead when I was building the overhead locker. I did actually plan to have a TV in there. So when I was running all the electrics early on in the build, I did run some cabling up there in preparation to actually mount the TV in place. But there we go. It's, as I say, once the cabling's in, it's just a case of putting the mount on, chopping the end off the TV plug, hardwiring that in the actual 12 volt system instead, as I say, via a fuse, just to be sure. And that's how I've got the 24 inch LED TV fully working. So, as I say, give the video a good old thumbs up, hit the subscribe button below if you haven't already, and hopefully, I'll see you on the next video of my series. Thanks for watching, cheers.